Hello and welcome to the latest installment of Super Data Science's custom chart tutorial series. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to build a waterfall chart in Tableau. A waterfall chart is a common type of visualization where you show the cumulative positive or negative effect on a certain measure across a certain axis. In this example we're looking at right here, you see the effect on the measure of profit across the axis of time. So you see the positive or negative changes starting in 2011 all the way through 2012. Waterfall charts can also be applied to a categorical axis. In this case, we're looking at a monthly budget where you have your income, then you have your expenses, and you end up with how much money you've saved at the end of the month. The nice thing is that the way you build a waterfall chart in Tableau is very flexible to the point that it works very nicely across a categorical axis as well as a time series axis. So let's jump into Tableau and get things going. We'll, come in, we'll connect to our data. In this case, it's just an Excel file with some retail sales performance. It's a very straightforward data set. You have the date of the sale, where it occurred, what product category you're looking at, and then a few measures associated with it. Waterfall charts tend to work really well when you have both positive and negative change. That can either be done based off of a percent change calculation, or it can be based off of just a measure that has that positive negative variation. In this case, profit has that nicely for us. So we're gonna be looking at building our waterfall charts off of profit. Now coming in, real quick, just wanna visualize how profit has changed over time. I'm going to drag date up to my columns, but I'm going to do a special type of drag. I'm going to do a right-click drag. So when you drag something up with a right-click, it gives you the option of choosing a whole bunch of different options and ways to visualize what you've just dragged up. If I were to grab date with a left-click, drop it on columns, it would default to whatever the default aggregation is. In the case of dates, Tableau will default to showing year. But if I right-click, drag it up to columns, then you can see a bunch of different options. This can save you a few clicks, and it's just a nice little tip to know. In this case, we're going to go with our continuous month, so Tableau builds a nice timeline for us. And then we'll look at our profit across that time period. With this view, we can see how profit is changing over time. You see we've got some positive months, and then you see we also have some negative months. But a waterfall chart is really good for showing the cumulative effect. And for a cumulative effect, we actually need to see the running total of profit. To do that, Tableau makes things really easy. You come up, you do a quick table calculation, and you make a running total. So now, rather than having the individual profit values for each month, we see the cumulative effect of that profit from one end of your table to the other. In this case, so again, we're using a time series axis, so you see the beginning of our data set in January through the end of our data set in September of 2016. And you'll see that overall, while there have been some bumpy roads, we actually have made a profit over these past couple of years. Now. If we look and visualize this with a bar chart, we'll be able to get a quick clue on what the, we want the waterfall chart to show us. Visualizing this with a bar chart is nice because you can see, okay, up here we had 7,300, up here we ended up at only 141. What the waterfall chart does is it actually fills in this white space and says, okay, we started at 7,300, ended up at 141, so we know we realized about a $7,200 loss in profit right here. And what the waterfall chart will do for us is visualize that loss that occurred. Now the way to do that is to do two things. First off, we're going to change this to a Gantt bar. A Gantt bar is nice because it gives us the same ending points as the bar chart, but it gives us a little more flexibility on sizing. And then what we do is we're going to size, and this is the second trick, by a negative profit. So you go and you create a calculated field off of profit. We'll call this our waterfall sizing. Make this negative profit drag that to our size, and there we have our waterfall chart. If you drag profit up to color, things become a little bit more clear. So here you have your positive profit from the first month, and then it's sized based off of that. And then here we had our massive drop, and the negative profit shows that drop from our 7300 down to our 141. With this view, all of a sudden you get some great stories that have come out that show not only your running total, but also the trends that are going on underneath. So in this case, we had a couple of rough months, but then we recovered really quick. It's worth asking some questions around these four months. Why were they so negative back and forth? And then followed by these three months, why were they so positive? It's also worth digging into October and November, trying to figure out how we can replicate this type of success and avoid the performance of January through, I guess of December through February in 2016. Now again, these are just places to look at, places to start asking questions. The nice thing that the waterfall chart does for us is it allows us to see this running total of profit, but it also makes it possible to see these individual trends on each month in between. 
Now, stylistically, I like using the waterfall chart in this context. I know some people prefer to add some lines as well. So if you come up and you duplicate that, you just hold control, you click and you drag on the pill and it'll duplicate it for you. Drag the color off, drag the sizing off, just leaving our Gantt bars, up that size up to full, change the color to something a little bit more dark. Then you can come up here, right click on some of profit, make it a dual axis. Make sure the axis right here is synchronized and then you can hide the header. What that does is it gives you a little bit more of a visual cue as in terms of where you're ending up after that month's change occurred. So we know right here we had a big positive and then a big negative, but this line just kind of gives us a visual cue of, oh, hey, right now we're at 141 after that, after that month of February. Personally, I tend not to use this because I, in the situations that I run into it, it hasn't been needed, but I know a lot of people like these lines as well. So it's really up to you. The dual axis chart makes it very easy. So another thing that Tableau does for us, like I mentioned earlier, is it makes it really easy to apply this chart across different types of axes. So I'm renaming this sheet our waterfall time series. If you actually duplicate this, again, just like you're using your pill, you hold control, click and drag. We now can make our waterfall categorical, where rather than looking at month, we'll look at the change across different product categories. We'll drag this up, our views can get very messy really quickly, but then you drag that off, we'll make this the entire view, and now we have our waterfall chart showing us the sum of profit and how things change across different categories. In this case, categories just sorted alphabetically, baby through toddler, and it tells a kind of interesting story. So you started baby, we lost some money, clothing basically broke even, which is typical clothing has pretty thin margins, education, we lost money, but then we recovered with food, furniture, home decor, pet care seasonal, dropped us a little bit, specialty gave us a huge hit, but luckily our cash cow toddler came through at the end. So this is a very interesting story to tell. It kind of tells a different story if you come in and you sort it, we'll call it descending. And so same kind of profit values. It just moves a little bit different and tells, like I said, a kind of different story depending on how you sort it. That's the trick with categorical views and categorical axes with a, with a waterfall chart is the sort really changes what type of story is happening across your view. But in the end, you have your waterfall chart. And now with a few series of clicks and one calculated field, you've gone from just having a normal story of profit to a great story that shows the differences across time. You also have it across your different categories. And there you go. That's the entire tutorial for today. Hopefully with a couple of tricks thrown in there for you as well. But that is how you make a waterfall chart in Tableau. Hopefully that was clear and hopefully it's something that you can feel like you can use in your day-to-day -day work and your visualization success going forward. That's it for us today. We hope to see you on our next tutorial. Thanks.